Hi everyone, this is Teresa Wills, and here's how you play a game collaboratively, even though one of your students might be face-to-face -face and another one might be learning from home. Begin by going to TeresaWills.com games and choose your game. I'm going to start with closest to 100. You click on it and it downloads the file. Then you go to playingcards.io Scroll way down to a blank empty room, custom room, and start blank room. I'm going to hit enter. And now it's time to upload that file. I'm going to go to the edit table, room options, import from file. Find my file. and it's already there, I hit edit table again to have play mode. Now let's make classroom copies. Go back to edit, pull up your menu, and under room options, there's an option to copy the room. I'm gonna put in my students' names, and I'll show you why. It's really nice for classroom management to be able to see who is writing and what. Make sure you copy their room code. I'm going to do this for each set of students that I have. Jackie and Kara are next. That's their room code. And they'll paste that room code right here. Now here's what's really neat. I can see my students' names on the tab above there. I can go into multiple windows and type theirs in as well. And now I've got each set of my students' names above here and I can see what they are doing in real time. Now as the teacher, I can quickly see what each of my groups are doing and I can notice when one group has not started at all, when another group has already finished round one, when a group seems to have zero points on one and many on the other, which makes me wonder, is player one just really good at this game or do they need some uh, clarifications on directions? And I can even see students move things in real time. This is the student moving it on their screen and another student moving it on their screen.